Whitebeard, the world's strongest pirate versus Madara, the ghost of the Uchiha, is one of the biggest One Piece versus Naruto debates there is besides the two MCs themselves. And when you analyze these two from a narrative standpoint, this matchup is perfect. Top tier gods of their respective verses who wanted to be strong for the sake of their families, while at the same time rivaling but ultimately being internally second best to their greatest competitor slash friend. So, who would win? Well, by evaluating both the One Piece and Naruto mangas, we can begin scaling and get to the truth. Madara is up first, and before I begin talking about his abilities and techniques, I'd like to establish that the version of Madara I'll be using for this video will be EMS Madara with the Nine Tails, as that is his strongest form pre Six Pass Sage mode, which would obviously stomp Whitebeard. But with that out of the way, we can get back on track. Let us begin. Madara and the Uchiha are most recognized by their signature Sharingan and its standard abilities, such as the Eye of Insight, which grants a user the capability to decode, copy, or foresee any ninjutsu, genjutsu, or taijutsu, and the Eye of Hypnotism, which seems to somewhat scale to a user's stats when placing a genjutsu, as Madara can control the Nine Tails with base Sharingan alone, but doesn't even attempt to place a genjutsu on Hashirama with his EMS. For those of you who have read Naruto and heard me say the word EMS, you'll know that the Sharingan obviously progresses further to what is known as the Manga Kyo Sharingan, granting Madara two unknown visual jutsu, but most notably the Susano. Susano, which translates to he who has the ability to help through all means, is a humanoid avatar made from a user's chakra, which surrounds them in a fight and acts on their behalf, even performing a user-specific hand signs and ninjutsu, but most importantly shielding the user from any physical harm. And Madara is one of the select few Susano users who can advance their Susano into its final stage, otherwise known as the perfect Susano which can be considered Madara's full power. Madara is also hailed for his proficiency with mid to long range fire and wind style jutsus, using the latter to amp his already powerful fire style, which is signature to the Uchiha clan. Speaking of signature to the Uchiha, let's talk about the Izanagi, a forbidden genjutsu performed with the Sharingan. With a normal genjutsu, a user will apply an illusion to a target's senses, causing the target to experience things that are not real. However, with Izanagi, the user applies an illusion to reality itself giving the user control over what is and is not real as long as the Izanagi is active. Users of the Izanagi typically do this in order to protect themselves, negating any injuries they receive or even their deaths. Members of the Uchiha clan perform Izanagi with their Sharingan in exchange for the brief control over reality that Izanagi grants them. However, the Sharingan that was used to perform Izanagi does become blind. However, the opportunity provided by Izanagi cannot be understated considering it's basically a respawn in an RPG. Moving on to Madara's AP slash durability, Madara while using the majestic attire Susano was somewhat comparable to Hashirama's Shinzu Senju, which had an AP calc at 1.3 zettatons of TNT, small planet level. And while I don't think Madara with his majestic attire Susano is as strong as Hashirama with his Shinzu Senju, Madara would have to be at least two times stronger than base Hashirama, making Madara one fifth as strong as sage Hashirama, which is a 10 times multiplier giving Majestic Attire Susano an AP slash durability of 260 exatons, moon level plus. As for speed, Madara should upscale vastly from KCM Naruto, who was able to move at 73 times faster than light, since Madara was able to react and reflect the full speed KCM to Naruto casually. Now to talk about Whitebeard, and just like Madara, I have to specify the version I'll be using, that being Marine Ford Whitebeard. This is because we truly don't know how strong a prime Whitebeard would be until elaborated more on in the manga. Anyway, you can't talk about Whitebeard's abilities and techniques without discussing his Devil Fruit, the Gura Gura no Mi, a paramecia type Devil Fruit that allows the user to create vibrations or quakes, making the user a tremor human. These vibrations or quakes can travel through virtually any medium, including the ground, the sea floor, and even the air. Because of this, Fleet Admiral Sengoku has stated that Whitebeard holds the power to destroy the world which I will discuss in a little bit. Back to Whitebeard and his abilities though, he's one of the rare individuals in the One Piece world who can use all forms of hockey and their advanced stages. With advanced observation hockey, Whitebeard has Future Sight giving him precog similar to a Sharingan, and with advanced armament hockey, Whitebeard can flow his hockey into attacks, giving him durability negation. Advanced Conqueror's hockey is pretty much the same thing as advanced armament, with the only difference being the type of hockey flowed into the attack. However, Advanced Conquerors is not even an option because Whitebeard is so old and sick at Marineford, even attempting to use basic Conqueror's hockey causes him to have a heart attack. Switching gears to Whitebeard's AP slash durability, Whitebeard scales directly if not over the strongest Admiral Akainu, as they are both portrayed to be relative and damage each other throughout the fight. And if you watched my last video, you'll know that I have a serious Kizaru's AP slash durability at 100 exatons of TNT, 
based on this calculator is able to throw a casual kick capped at 10 exatons of TNT. This is important because I also mentioned in my last video that Akainu is considered stronger than Kizaru, as Kizaru wasn't even considered for the position of Fleet Admiral, and since Akainu's Magu Magu no Mi is regarded by the data books and portrayed to have the highest AP of any Devil Fruit in the series. Knowing this, we'll say Akainu is around 1.5 times stronger than Kizaru, making them relative but with a clear distinction in power. That would give Akainu and by extension Whitebeard a max AP slash durability of 150 exatons of TNT, or enough energy to bust the moon. And I know what One Piece fans are probably thinking right now, Sage, Sengoku said Whitebeard has the power to destroy the world, he's planetary. However, this statement can be interpreted in many ways, considering planetary is a vast tier ranging from surface wiping to actual planet vaporization. Also, Sengoku could be referencing Prime Whitebeard, which is much more likely. Which is why I'll be sticking to the scaling and calcs that I've provided so far, instead of the data book and character statements that can be weighed. And that goes for Madara as well, considering I didn't even bring up that only half the ninth is stated to be able to turn the world into ash. Not saying these statements are hyperbolic, it's just that I'd rather place the calcs over the statements. And just so we're clear here, being moon level makes you baseline planetary regardless, meaning these calcs would be consistent with both Sengoku and the Ninetales data book statements. In terms of speed though, Whitebeard is solidly in the FTL range, with FTL plus reaction speeds thanks to his future sight. As even his commander Marco can intercept light speed attacks, and Kizaru who is light speed acknowledges he only hit Whitebeard with his light beam, because Whitebeard was careless. But with both characters being scaled, I can now declare a winner. And even though old dying Marine Ford Whitebeard is insanely powerful, he doesn't hold a candle to EMS Madara using the majestic tire Susano. As not only is Madara 73 times faster than Whitebeard, his AP slash durability is almost twice as high despite both characters being moon level. Meaning I don't even need to mention Madara's hacks like Genjutsu or Izanagi, as it wouldn't even be fair since he clears Whitebeard in stats anyway. But Whitebeard fans may be upset here as I failed to bring up Whitebeard's durability negation with his advanced armament hockey. And while I understand something like that is absolutely broken, what you the viewer have to understand is that Whitebeard isn't even fast enough to get close to Madara before he's dead. So even though I love this matchup for the parallels, and because these two characters are so awesome, the truth of the matter is, Madara vs Whitebeard is not even close. If you enjoy my content, make sure you like the video as well as sub. And remember to make sure you comment who you think wins below and why.